back with the third round. We have won our third die roll of the game. <laughs> Man, how many times are we going to get opening hands like this? I don't normally complain like this, but I feel like it's getting a little ridiculous. I'm not going to mole. I feel like eventually luck has to smile on our side. We'll draw a swamp and get there eventually, right? <laughs> Worst case scenario, we'll get this adversary out eventually. I guarantee it. Maybe we'll draw a Vaporkin. That would be nice too. Omen Speaker even. Or to send a forums. We have a lot of outs. It's round three of four if anyone's wondering. So after this round there should be one more. Uh, even though there's no prize for X2. So if we lose this we'll have to drop. But that probably won't happen. I have faith that we can get there. Let's pause while our opponent tanks on his ho All right, opponent kept a seven. It's our third green opponent of the uh, of the match or of the the daily. As we continue to get punished for our mana issues. Well, looks like this is happening again. Could have mulled again again, but yeah, I probably should have. Now that I think about it, what was it? These two cards were not here. I don't know. Magic's tough. Three drop. Oh, two drop. That's fine. <coughs> All right, now we're in business. Playing this instead of the return phalanx, because if we draw another land, we can stick two ordeals on it and go to town. And green-red usually can't deal with things over four toughness. So unless he lightning strikes it now, which is unlikely. Hope this isn't a uh, borderland minotaur, though. Ooh, that's a good one. I feel like we can still probably race that. Especially if we draw land for our Griptide. And land. There we go. This is how our deck's supposed to work. Just windmill slamming everything. ID gaff. Lego. It's a nice 3 4 you got there. I got a 4 4. That's going to provide me 4 cards of advantage eventually. The funny thing is, if we draw Swamp, we can play Grey Merchant pre-combat to gain the extra devotion from the ordeal before we sack it. And both ordeals should trigger next turn, unless he finds a way to remove counters, which is highly unlikely. Hopefully there's no Rage of Perforos in my future, because that would be pretty much game over. <laughs> Just casual three for one and then win the game. Getting in there. Fanatic of Mogus. That's a good one. All right, perfect draw. Play this for four life. Um, get in there. It doesn't matter which way we stack these. Draw two. Ooh, sip of hemlock. And you discard too. All right, so this is how our deck's supposed to function. For the record, it's not completely terrible. It's just apparently the early mana is very, very bad. 
He's just taking it. All right. So now we're probably in pretty good shape. If he has a threaten effect, we'd be taking five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, we're actually dead to an act of treason or whatever it's called, portent of betrayal. Um, but that's I think the only thing that punishes us here. It's a lot of mana. He has a blue man in this pool. Oh god, see God's revenge. Why? Uh okay. So that changes things, obviously. We're taking a lot of damage this turn. We're going to two. <clears throat> That's not gonna save us. So we can go. It's very unfortunate. I don't think we actually can survive. Best we can do is put out two chump blockers, but then the other guy gets through. I think what I'm going to do is fast as bounty milling him just so I can get to see three more cards. And then concede. Oh, he's just like four color good stuff with the Minotaur sub theme. Interesting. All right, well, that's good to know about, I guess. I think maybe we can even stick to this plan. Um, the blue black deck, that is. Um, Cutthroat Maneuver might be pretty good. What would the green deck give us in this matchup? Nessie Nass, probably too slow. Does survive his removal. I haven't seen, I didn't see any early removal. So, you know, the ordeal plan could still get there pretty easily, in theory. Um, we could bring in Fate Foretold. So we could, like, block his guys. We're going to cut Thassa's bounty for sure if we stick with this deck. Didn't see anything that Viper's Kiss would be good on. So maybe we could cut that for a Fate Foretold. Maybe even a Stymied Hopes would be good. Um, sea Lock Monster is pretty good against his uh, Nylea's Presences. I don't know how many of those he has, but I, I assume probably two if he's playing four color. Um, or maybe he's just bad. That's, that's always the consideration. Um, in any case, it's probably better than Horizon Scholar. So that's a pretty easy swap. And I think 9-8 is still correct, even though we have had continuous problems, but I will nonetheless submit.